Hello everyone, Todd here, and welcome back to another Wellness Talks Brief. Imagine in the back of your mind is a switch. Let's just call this switch the struggle switch. When it's on, it means you're going to struggle against just about any physical or emotional pain that comes your way throughout the day. Whenever this discomfort shows up, you will do your best to try to get rid of or avoid it. Now, let's just use anxiety as an example. If the struggle switch is on, then you will have the thoughts, I have to get rid of this, or, oh no, here's that horrible feeling again, or, why does it keep coming back? How do I get rid of it? So now you've got anxiety about your anxiety. In other words, your anxiety just became worse. Now this, of course, is followed up with other thoughts such as, oh no, my anxiety is getting worse. Why does it do this? So now you're even more anxious. And then there are all the secondary emotions that go along with your level of anxiety. You might become angry about the anxiety. It's not fair. Why does this keep happening? Or you may become depressed about the level of anxiety. Oh no, not again. Why do I always feel like this? And all of these secondary emotions are useless, unpleasant, unhelpful, and drain your energy and vitality throughout the day. To make matters worse, as this goes on, it compounds. You start thinking about all the loss of time and the energy and vitality and start to become anxious and depressed about that. And the cycle continues, building upon itself. But now, suppose your struggle switch is off. In this case, whatever feelings show up, no matter how unpleasant, you no longer struggle with it. So anxiety shows up, but this time you don't struggle. You simply notice, okay, there's a knot in my stomach. Here's a tightness in my chest. Ooh, my palms are sweaty. My legs are a little bit shaky. Ah, here's my mind telling me a bunch of scary stories. And it's not that you want it to be like this, it's still unpleasant, but you've decided that you're not going to waste your time and energy struggling with it. Instead, you're going to take control of your actions and put your energy into doing something that's meaningful. So with the struggle switch off, your anxiety levels are free to rise and fall as the situation dictates. Sometimes your anxiety will be high, other times it'll be low. Sometimes there will be no anxiety at all. Most importantly though, you're not wasting your time and your energy struggling with it. But if you switch it on, it's like an emotional amplifier. We can have anger about our anger, anxiety about our anxiety, depression about our depression, or guilt about our guilt. It's a fact of life that we will have a natural level of physical and emotional discomfort depending upon who we are, how we're wired, what we're doing, and the circumstances that we're facing. This type of physical and emotional discomfort is normal. This is everyday living and something that can be simply thought of as clean discomfort. Life serves it up to us all in one way or another. It's when we begin to struggle with it that our discomfort levels increase rapidly. You can think of this type of additional suffering as dirty discomfort. You can't do anything about the clean discomfort, but you can reduce the amount of dirty discomfort. We can do this by turning off that struggle switch. Well, how do we do this? There are multiple ways to begin to increase your ability to become more psychologically flexible. One is to be in contact with the present moment, to be right here, right now. And the best way to approach something like that is, of course, through mindfulness practices. Two is know what matters most to you, that is, understand your values. Three, decide what it takes to do the things that you need to do and to commit to actions that are workable, that are doable. Four, understand that there are two different types of mind, the thinking mind and the observing mind. When you can put yourself into the observing mind, 
you have much more control over and will no longer contribute to your worries and thoughts about anxiety. Five, diffusion. You can utilize the diffusion skill in order to be able to defuse from your current thought. Quite simply put, you'll be able to watch your thinking and be able to objectify and stand away from it so that once again, you can follow your committed actions. And six, we can open up and we can accept those things that are out of our control and focus on those things that we can control. Once again, our committed actions. Once we put all of this in place, you will then have the ability to turn off your struggle switch and manage your anxiety in a way that allows you to live a meaningful and energetic life.